In this video, we'll be using dimensional analysis to make conversions between the English system and the metric system, and between the metric system and the English system. So here's some conversion bridges which you'll probably want to memorize. These will be very helpful. We're going to have a conversion or two for distance, one for mass, and one for volume. Now you don't have to memorize uh, dozens of conversions. I think the three or four that I'm going to give you here will be enough. So remember, what these bridges are, is there a way for us to go from the English system to the metric system. For example, one inch, that's the English system, that's equal to exactly 2.54 centimeters in the metric system. This is an exact conversion and has an infinite number of sig figs. Here's a second one for distance. I don't really know that you need to memorize both, but I've included this one because a lot of students are already familiar with this conversion factor um, from running track or cross country or something like that. Here's one for mass. One kilogram equals 2.20 pounds. And one for volume. One gallon equals 3.78 liters. And these here um, all have three sig figs in the conversion. This top one, remember, has an infinite number. I included this conversion factor here for volume because uh, I believe this is written on um, some gallon of milk, um, even. So you'll see that on a gallon of milk and sometimes even I'm on a toilet where it says one gallon per flush or 3.8 liters per flush. Here's an ad additional bridge. We've already seen this, um, but this is also one you should commit to memory. Okay, let's do an example problem. Your coach asks you to run a 5K race. How many miles will you run? Well, some of you have run a 5K before. That's five kilometers. That's our given. The first step is always to write your given. And now we need a conversion factor. So the conversion factor will, of course, be between miles and kilometers. Same rules apply. Whatever unit is in the numerator, if that same unit appears in the denominator, then it will cancel out. So in your calculator, do 5 divided by 1.61. That will leave you with an answer with one sig fig, and the answer is 3 miles. So once again, it's the same rules that we used before. The only difference is our conversion factors now are not within the metric system, but are, be going, are going between the English system and the metric system.